Some people treat their financial advisor like an order taker. They go to them with preset ideas about what they want, and the advisor's role, as they see it, is to carry out their instructions. But it shouldn't be like that at all. You need your advisor to challenge you, to ask you searching questions. Chris Budd used to run a financial planning business. He's now a writer and podcaster specialising in personal finance. The general public will tend to invest in the stock market when they feel good. And that means when the stock market is just about to peak. And they tend to get out when they panic from emotional decisions, i.e. when it's at the bottom. And everybody has seen this happen all the time. You only need to look at the inflows and outflows in the, the stock market to have that proven. Self-limiting beliefs is the phrase that we use for this. It's beliefs that we have that are not actually true or not necessarily true because beliefs are not the same as truths. And that's a great phrase that I come back to all the time. Beliefs are not truths. So you might have somebody that will come to see you that doesn't like the stock market, is risk averse, because they went in once at the top and it went down. And therefore they think it's not for them. So what we need to do as financial planners is we need to help those clients to overcome some of those self-limiting beliefs. In fact, to be aware of them first of all. A helpful way of looking at it is that a financial advisor is like a sports coach. They're absolutely on your side, and that sometimes might mean being tough with you. For that reason, I'm a big advocate of financial planners being experienced and preferably trained in coaching so that we can challenge clients, but challenge them in a non-threatening way, challenge them in a way that will get them thinking about their lives, thinking about their self-limiting beliefs, thinking about things that they might want to do that they didn't know that they could do, things like permission. Permission's a fascinating subject. Permission to be happy. Self-limiting beliefs can stop us living life to the full. And one of the reasons they're so hard to shake off is that we've had them for many years, often since childhood. We have a client who um, we were trying to get to spend some money. Again, a lot of financial planners will have this experience. It's hard to get people to spend money when they've got it. So this particular lady, we were... Um, getting very excited about golf. She likes her golf. So we were trying to organise um, a trip to the Ryder Cup for them. And it was going to cost quite a lot of money, VIP, really fancy, you know. And she said, no, I, I can't do that. My dad wouldn't like it. Well, her dad had been dead for 15 years, but she was still beholden to him. The bottom line is, don't be offended if your financial planner challenges you. They're probably doing you a big favour.